unfortunately, um, cytosoin doesn't carry a very good prognosis. Just this season alone, we've seen 10 cytosoin cats and Jackson's the only survivor so far. My responsibilities were to come to the ICU three times a day, do Jackson's treatments, and give him a physical exam. My favorite part about treating Jackson was watching his progress. Um, he did get worse before he got better, but he really turned a corner, and then um, we could just see him day by day getting better, and that was really great to see. And because he was my very first patient, it was my first opportunity to watch my own actions make a difference in a real animal. My responsibilities with Jackson were mainly to um, collect blood from him, check on him quite frequently in the ICU. He looked pretty good when we first came in, and then, you know, he would look worse, so there was a lot of worrying, and uh, but he made it through, and we're super excited about it. Working with your veterinarian to make sure that you have a good tick preventative plan in place is really important. Um, it only takes one tick bite to get cytosoin. The best way to give them the best chance of survival, in my opinion, is to get them to a vet as soon as possible.